hide its tracks. We already seeing uh, malware that infects the kernel or something. So um, you may not be able, you, you need a privileged process to access memory and um, in the end malware could hide, uh, could protect from your uh, evidence gathering. So um, in the end, you could do it on a virtual machine on the uh, hypervisor level, but um, you see, you see, uh, right now what happens if you if you look at how people do memory forensics today, right? They still use the similar tools. They still use volatility to dump the memory. So it is no different than what people are doing today. Uh, again, as far as the limitation is concerned, obviously, the, if the malware has uh, has capability to detect. As soon as you launch a memory memory dump tool, it, it can try to hide itself. So that that is obviously a concern, always going to be a concern. Uh, but I think from for large parts, the malware which we see, I think it does not have that. There there will be malware which has that, but you will still be able to capture a large amount of malware with with with, with this technique. Because there is nothing else which which can help you. Even even advanced tools like NCase. The, the malware can easily bypass those while yes, for you, forensics. Yeah. You need to, to work on a different level. Yeah, then. exactly. Okay. Yeah. More questions? Then thanks a lot. Um, yeah. Drunk. Yeah. Thanks.